Nigerians will express regret if Minister Issa Pantami is removed from office. So says popular Muslim cleric Ahmad Uzi. And a global report says Nigeria is the third worst governed country in the world. This is Boss Politics and I am Osao Gye Ogbon. Thanks for joining us. Welcome once again to PLOS Politics. A strong warning has been issued to Nigerians by prominent Islamic cleric Ahmad Gumi over calls for the resignation and sacking of Issa Pantami, Minister of Communications and Digital Economy. The cleric said Nigerians will regret if the minister is removed from office. In addition to this, the Muslim rights concern, Murik, has commended the federal government for defending the minister while the Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, Kakol, has uh, written to President Muhammad Bari on Monday demanding that Issa Pantami be sacked. Joining us to discuss this is uh, Isha Kakintala, the Executive Director, Muslim Rights Concern, Murik, and Debo Adeniro, the Chairman, Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, Kakol. Thank you both for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me. All right, I'm going to start with uh, Mr. Akintola. Um, you know, we've also had a conversation on this platform uh, before, still speaking about Issa Pantami. Um, I, I want you to quickly share with us the reasons uh, why you felt the federal government uh, made the right move by deciding to stick with the minister. Of course, the federal government, the president, made the right decision by uh, supporting um Dr. Lisa Kantami because they know and it is very glaring that those who were calling for his, his uh, resignation were doing so with a brain data. Doing because it's like uh, they were trying not asking for their kind of flesh. Many of these people are supporters of the Yahoo Yahoo boy. They are promoting criminality. Uh, many of them are, you know, are, are scared in part of my end on their criminal security. They know with NRM by Dr. Pantanis Ministry for fighting to debilitate activities, weaken them, and it will finally expose them and stop what they've been doing. They don't want this. They are going to stop Dr. Pantani by all means. All right. And that is, you see, the presidency also read between the lines. Everybody knows that who are after uh, some of them are not going after particular. Mr. President himself is the ultimate target, real target. You see, the opposition is not the play of the uh, politics in Nigeria, so it's so ridiculous. It is true. We are petty, we are mean. Even, even uh, issues that we uh, uh, facility and what uh, 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 initiating is to better the lot of the people, we to make life more abundant. We be opposed in Nigeria because they just want to 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 portray government weak and effective. All right. Politicians thinking of election. All right, Mr. Kintola, hold on. Very few statesmen in Nigeria. Yeah, Mr. Kintola, hold on. Uh, I think. think uh, not yeah, I think I think you've made uh, your point well enough on the reasons uh, from what you've said. 
Um, the people who are against Issa Pantami are those who uh, are angry with his moves uh, with regards to the NIN and, of course, also those who are trying to bring down the Buhari administration and are That's going right. through Issa Pantami. All right. Um, Deba Deniron, uh, you have uh, um, a totally different um, narrative and you have... Uh, of course, uh, spoken against uh, the presidency's support for the minister. Uh, do you not agree with Ishak Akintola, uh, where he says that the people who are against the Sapantami are simply those Yahoo boys, according to him, who want to bring the minister down? Uh, what are your thoughts? Thank you for having me. Coincidentally, uh, uh, it would be about the first time I would disagree with uh, Professor Akintola on the history of governance in Nigeria. Um, this, uh, Professor Akitola knows that the purpose of governance is to ensure uh, that uh, welfare and security of Nigeria people are, are secured. And if that is not a hand, then the purpose of governance has been defeated. Uh, uh, Mr. Patani uh, has a background of uh, Islamic extremism, unlike the kind of uh, Islamic practice that is uh, that Professor Akitola is known for. Uh, Mr. Patani was a sheikh, and his own kind of sheikh is that that endorsed every uh, hazard that could come with the words of a feminist for jihad. And for somebody who has that ideological inclination, it will be difficult to erase it from his mind, even if he returns to what he has said before. Mr. Patani was a preacher who actually preached violence. He said people should be killed and that he is happy when those the five as incidents are murdered in cold blood by the Islamic extremists. That is not good for the development of the country. This is a sympathizer with Al Qaeda and Taliban. And we knew what Al Qaeda and Taliban has done to the human race. They have uh, they, they, they have proven themselves to be blood -casting. And what they go for is blood anywhere they say. He has sympathized with Boko Haram that has been murdering people in droves over the years. He has said that Nigeria army ought not to have decimated those that were caught, you know, destroying people's lives and property. That they were being killed like pigs. That is an extreme sympathy expressed you know, to those who have petty joy in you know, slaughtering people like Iran. All right, so, so, uh, so you don't Mr. agree? Mr. Patani is known to have been that extreme in his preaching. Yeah, they were, they were. Fact, they were, they were. So, so you don't agree he, with, with the narrative of him you know, being, or saying those things in his past? And, you know, he may have turned a new leaf over time. It's been more than a decade since those things were said. So don't you agree no. that he may over be a different years, man today? He made these statements several years ago. And he has started saying in not, uh, not so long a time. And all along, until he was called out, he had never denied saying those words that we saw him said in videos, audios, and in print. And during his speeches, he had actually ordered that anybody that said anything as Islam should be murdered. And those are words that he has not recanted until when the heat were all on him. And if not because he wants to keep his job as minister, minister of the uh, uh, communication and digital economy. He wouldn't have thought of recounting those statements he claimed that he made when he was right. a younger person. All right, thank you, Deba Deniro. If it's an ideological thing, it is difficult to remove people. Even if they claim that they
they have to among those uh, uh, practices and uh, principles that they that govern their mind in the past. And if they did that, they will can still be the country fight to the terrorists All right. and to the extremists who need to get information about individuals. Um, Mr. Dinner, hold on. Mr. Akinson talked about the young boys who want to uh, escape the front hand of the law. It is not correct to say that. Because if our information, NIN, for example, you can agree with NIN, is in the hand of an extremist who doesn't want to see anything good in those that are not practicing the same faith with them. It All right. means that All right. All right. Hold on, they Mr. don't trace anybody and hack them down anywhere they could be. All over the world. All right, hold and on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Deniro, um, because we, we need to work with time so that we can have both um, of you share your views um, adequately. Um, Ishaka Kintola, um, I'm bring, I'm going back to you now. Um, Debo Deniro doesn't agree with your perspective, um, but I want to, you know, uh, I want us to speak on the part where he supposedly recounted some of those statements um, in the period that all of this uh, has been, um, uh, you know, part of our discussion nationally. Um, do you think that it is important that Issa Pantami addresses Nigerians and publicly recounts those statements that he made and publicly denounces the Taliban and Al-Qaeda and Boko Haram and all that they stand for? Do you think it's important with the accusations against him today that he does that? Uh, hello. Uh, I, I, can I come in here? Can yes. I come in? Ms. Akintola, go ahead. I'm, I'm speaking to you now. Yes. Yeah. I, you see, the critics of Dr. Pantami are still singing the old song. There's nothing new in what they are saying anymore. They kept referring to that remote past and those distant statements that were made 20, more than 20 years ago. When shall we move forward? When shall we stop digging? into the past. So for, for one thing, history cannot be broken. They are breaking history. The trail of history. It has a remote past, an immediate past, followed by the present. Because history is a continuum. Yes, but, but this is why I'm asking, they, Mr. Kintola, this is why I'm asking. The immediate past. Yeah, and, and this is why I'm asking this. In, in order for us to, to focus on the future that you just mentioned now, or the present that you just mentioned, um, Nigerians would like to know exactly the thoughts and the, the um, emotions Issa Pantami has towards Al-Qaeda and towards the Taliban and Boko Haram. So do you think it's important, in the, in the light of all the, the things that we're discussing today and the fight against terrorism, do you think it is important that he publicly renounces and um, and shares his thoughts concerning terrorism today. Hello. Now, just uh, yesterday or thereabout, well, somebody, somebody tweeted, telling Nigerian how, as a Christian, he had been trained by the Christian Association of Nigeria, TAN, in martial art and handling of weapons. Because they believe they must these weapons someday. He participated actively. He treated it publicly. Mr. Kitala, you're not answering and my question. Again, it's a, let me say this, please. Again, he followed up by saying, today, today, he doesn't believe he should have done that and that he doesn't believe in that ideology anymore. So, what my friend over there is saying, that and Sammy's ideology cannot change, it's, it's soft, it's unreliable, Great. it's not basic. Great, and I... And I what I, you say as a young man, in youthful exuberance, what you do and what you believe in those days. Great, so can once again... when you mature. Once again, Mr. Kintola... When you, when you engage in research. Once again, Mr. When Kintola... You more, when, you are, when, you, when you get to, to more to, to more cute. Yeah. Um, so, our people, these people, these critics, want to cut pandemic past, uh, past. 
no one to relate it to the person. Isha Kakintola, can you, do you understand my question? We, we, we are not being realistic. Yeah, but, 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 but this, this is what I'm asking. This is what I'm asking, if, if, I if, if you would hold on. If you would hold on, this is what I'm asking. Want to move forward. Great, but in order for us to move forward, is it important, and I'm going to go back to Deborah Daniel now, is it important that we at least know where Issa Pantami stands today? We don't want to assume, Nigerians don't want to assume that it happened 20 years ago and by now he should have changed. It is, is it important to you that we know what Issa Pantami thinks today? about terrorism, about al-Qaeda, about the Taliban, and about, about uh, Boko Haram. Not assumptions now, but hearing his words say it. Do you think it's important? Thank you very much. Uh, since Mr. Patani was uh, accused of this statement, of making such inflammatory and conflagratory statement, he has never said anything in criticism of Al-Qaeda, Taliban, Boko Haram, he has never criticized them. He has never seen anything bad in what Boko Haram is doing for Nigeria. He has not, not spoken against anything that the bandits are doing in Nigeria. It means that he's, he's in support of it. And I have said, that any ideological thing it can never be completely erased from those who have practiced it, especially in the extreme point of view. They have uh, etched the doctrine inside their mind, and it is not likely they remove it overnight. And I tell you that this people are also very strategic. It may be part of their own strategy to penetrate the state authorities, to make Isla Patani to, to pretend that he has recounted all of those statements he made in the past. He has not come into the open to say that what Taliban, what Al-Qaeda, what Boko Haram, what ISIS are doing, uh, against the principle of humanity. He could be the conduit fight through which all of these extreme religious vigors want to get information about certain important people. Even the military and the police and other security agencies can be channeled to the enemy through this uh, kind of person. All right. So if they groom him to pretend that he has recounted or that he has actually denounced that faith or the extremism that governed his mind in the past, it could be a way to bamboozle the rest of us as the uh, innocent public. All right. Uh, so Deborah General, thank you. But what are we saying? Does it mean that we don't have people with such hasty past to bring to govern us especially in the area of uh, communication and uh, data that we with our financial resources and our personal, uh, 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 personal welfare can be, can be assessed. All right. Deborah, hold on. look for somebody else who do not have, that, I mean, those who don't have uh, such safety parts that can be uh, scary. All right, hold on, Deborah, Deborah, Deborah. Hold on, Deborah Dineron. Uh, Mr. Dineron, kindly hold on. Uh, I want to go back to Ishaka Kintola. Um, Mr. Kintola, can you hear us? Uh, I, I beg to disagree with, with, with uh, yeah, our but, friend. But be, before, you, before you go on, this, this is the question that I, I'm once again putting to you, and I would like that you quickly answer it. Do you think that it is important that today, in the light of all these discussions, do you think it's important that Issa Pantami addresses, you know, the public and publicly renounces his earlier statements and his earlier beliefs and teachings towards um, the Taliban and to Al-Qaeda and to Boko Haram? Do you think he should do it? Yes or no? Ridiculous objection. Because it is ridiculous because he has never done that. He has made statements in the first uh, two, three weeks, 
confirming that he has already denounced it. What kind of renunciation do you want me to do with no, Say that again. He's, he's, made, he's made statements why saying he, what? Why is he, uh, why, why is he uh, uh, pursuing a project which would terrorism? Why is he pursuing this kind of money? People have ignored the fact that this uh, minister of uh, 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 communications and media economy was threatened with death. The terrorist, Boko Haram leader, threatened that he will kill him. Yeah, we ignoring all that. The yeah, we, we, are ignoring that. It's not ignored. You've you've made a, a similar. No, you've made that I'm statement on this platform we before. Are not fair to, to this no. In any case. Pay this issue to the rest. That is my candidate thing. Okay. He should be right. The people should to find something else to do. Okay. We, we, All we right. keep pushing forward and backward, forward and backward. Final but question. Two weeks or more, I think I'm the first to focus. Final question. Final co question. Um, Isha Kintola. This oh. issue should be dropped. Mr. Kintola, final it's question for it's you. It's so, it's so common. The person in particular and, and critics to, to hold this mantra against Muslims. Yes. Um, Every Muslim today, this dogma is that Muslim is a story. Every Muslim is a fundamentalist. Where did you get that? All right, Fine, of, Mr. Akintola, can you hold on? I want, I want, to, I want to put and, and, one more question to you before we uh, before we wrap up. One more question to you. Um, I, I would like you to answer as quickly as possible. Um, do you believe? Ishaka Kentola, can you hear me? No, it's a, it's a violation of the, of the fundamental human rights of Muslims. Of Since Muslims? This answer was stopped. Oh, okay. Um, Why must every Muslim be a terrorist? All right. Uh, Mr. Kentola, no, can you hold on? You are on Tantami. The next thing will be you will jump on another, another minister, another Muslim minister. Well, we're, we're, we're not, we're not having a discussion on Muslims uh, this evening. Mr. Kentola, kindly hold on. I, I want to ask one final question to you. All right, hold on. Hold on, Mr. Kintola. I want to, one last question to you before we go. All right, we may have to go back to Debo Adeniro. Um, Ishaka Kintola, I, I wish that you would at least let us have this conversation um, one after the other. Um, if you can hear us, would you hold on so we can have one last question before we go? Mr. Kintola? Yes. All right, brilliant. I, I would like that you answer this as, as quickly as possible. Um, I, I believe that Murik as a body and yourself um, desperately and very, 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 very um, badly want terrorism to end in Nigeria. Is that a yes or no? I didn't get your point. Does Murik as a body and do you yourself want um, terrorism to be over in Nigeria? We, we have issued statements severally, more than a hundred times. So the answer is yes. Condemning Al Qaeda. All right, so the answer is yes. This, this is the question I want to ask you, Mr. Kintola. Mr. Kintola, this is, this is the question I want to ask. Do you. you want it to end? Yes. Yes, I get that. You that mantra at Muslims. You want to get Boko Haram, you Boko Haram. Let us talk about Boko Haram and the terrorists. Great. But that, that's what we're talking about now, Mr. Kintola. Mr. Kintola. Mr. Kintola, this is, is just one question that we're trying to put through to you. I want, to, I want you to quickly just tell us if, there is, if you believe that anything should be done and Nigeria as a, as a country should be willing to sacrifice should be willing to pay whatever um, 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 amount is necessary or sacrifice whatever is necessary in order for us to achieve an end we to terrorism. We are not sacrificing Nigeria. Nobody is sacrificing Nigeria. Okay. Is, you're not, you're not listening to me, Mr. Kintola. These things are terrorists that are, now want to sacrifice Nigeria. I'm sorry, you're not listening to me. And I, I, don't, you, I, don't, want you to, I don't want you to you know, use our I, platform to I paint a, a, a wrong narrative. That's not what we're talking about. You're it's the one bringing in. Narrative. You're I the one bringing in Muslims in this in this I'm conversation. All right. Thank you very much, Deba Dinero. Would you quickly respond to that? I, I was going to ask Mr. Kintola if he if he thinks it is necessary that whatever it is, the price that we have to pay, even if it means sacrificing a minister, 
just so that we can see the end of terrorism in Nigeria, if that would be, if, if that is a worthy price to pay. Deepak Dinero, please go ahead. Uh, thank you very much. The truth is that we should dissuade those who are engaging in religious fundamentalism to stop it. Otherwise, we will not get to gain from what we are talking about. Um, Adebayo Chitu, who was the predecessor of Patani in the office, was also a Muslim. Nobody accused him that he had a justice pass or... The NIN, yes, the Chitu also was the Minister of Communication and he listed a number of things. But we I have not said every Muslim is a fundamentalist. What we are saying is that those that have the background of a Christian be allowed. That is not true. You have always been a friend to Kako and a friend to so many Nigerian activists. Nobody will say that what you are doing is fundamentalism. But then if you have the kind of path that Patani has, that path should continue to harm those who say they should cross people's heads with stones and that they should drive uh, a car on top of human beings. That is not good. And when you look at the way ISIS is operating, when you look at the way Boko Haram has been slaughtering people on the, I mean, like Rana, you will know that they are actually obeying the injunction of the preaching of people like Patani when he was a Nazi preacher. All right, they we should own. stop fundamentalism if we want to live together in a secular country called Nigeria. They we should Thank be you very able much. to accept ourselves and be able to tolerate one another. You are not another. accepting Muslims. You are no, not accepting no, Muslims. Muslim. No, I, I think we're, we're, we're going to have to end um, this segment here. Uh, Deba Deniro, uh, Chairman, Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, Kakol, thank you very much for your time and for speaking with us. Um, Ishaka Kintala, Executive Director, Muslim uh, Rights Concern, thank you very much also for your time this evening. We're hoping to have a you know, very, very basic uh, and simple, simple conversation. And by the way, Adeba Eshitu also had his own challenges. As minister, he was also accused of uh, not um, uh, being able to provide his NYC certificate. But he still did outlive his tenure. Um, the only difference was that he wasn't brought back as a minister in the second term. Um, thank you very much once again for uh, both of you. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we speak about the rating of governments in Nigeria. Stay with us.